What's up guys, this is Damien with Tosh Online again and today we're going to be taking a look at the MyUI ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S3, the Sprint Edition. And this is the uh, Jelly Bean 2.9.7 beta update for the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 as you can see here. And first impressions of this ROM is it's awesome. It's, it's completely awesome. There are so many settings for my UI that it, it gets to be a little bit overwhelming, but that's a good thing in my opinion. Uh, having the option of pretty much changing everything and tweaking everything to your liking is a big plus. It's one of the reasons why I love Android so much. And uh, I think you guys are really gonna have a lot of fun with this ROM. One of the main things that uh, I love about this ROM is the fact that it's so fast, it's so fluid, there are so many uh, ROM specific apps like the uh, My UI themes, the uh, security settings, the network settings, uh, I mean there's just a ton of options with uh, my UI. If you've ever used my UI then you know what I mean, you know how fast and fluid it is, it may be one of the most uh, fluid ROMs, if not the flu most fluid ROM uh, that there is out there, period, for any device that it, it's uh, ported to. Now, there are a few things that I kind of dislike about my UI, which aren't big deals because the thing about this ROM is you're able to pretty much change everything. But one thing that's uh, it's kind of what my UI is known for is there is no app drawer. It kind of takes after iOS in that all the apps are just on screen. So there is no app drawer. You're just going to have screen after screen of all your apps. Now, if you don't use a lot of apps, then it's not really a big deal. But if you're like me and you have a ton of apps, then it, it gets to be a little bit cluttered, uh, you know, which is my argument with uh, IU, iOS and the iPhone uh, but the thing that's different than iOS and the iPhone is that you can change that you can still use any launcher that you would like and as you, you'll see in the video I've downloaded from the uh, Google Play Store the app drawer app and that gives you kind of a Windows phone uh, type app drawer but you know it's better than nothing and I won't complain about it just as long as you have that option now another big thing that my UI has is folders now this is what a lot of people who really dig my UI they're they're gonna you know kind of press press for this option well they're going they're gonna tell you that this is what, what makes having all those apps on screen not so bad is you you there's you can design folders in my UI and th there are so many great animations and uh, opening and closing uh, animations that go with these folders and you really can do a lot of creative things if you use the folders options properly now if you're coming from uh, another ROM or if you're coming from stock TouchWiz you're going to be in for a few surprises uh, in the ways that Android operates on my UI it's not the typical uh, stock Android way, like say if you want to add a wallpaper. You can't just hold with a, a finger press on the screen and the options come up to change the wallpapers. You're going to have to press the menu button and select the option for wallpaper uh, in order to be able to, to, to change your wallpaper. And that's the general census with my UI. Things are a little bit different once you've used my UI and you, you get accustomed to it and familiar with the interface uh, then you're really going to love it and you're going to enjoy it I think you will at least I, I do it I've tried a lot of ROMs you guys know that I, I try ROM pretty much every two to three days I'm switching ROMs between all my devices and I, I've tried my UI a long long time ago back when I had the Evo 4G and I loved it then. It just there was a few problems with it with the uh, specific version that I was using at the time, and I never really came back to it. But it felt I felt right at home with trying the new version. Now I will say this: from where I last tried it, which was uh you know the version for Evo 4, the Evo 4G, and I'm not sure what the actual version was, but it's come a long way since then. And this is using Android 4.1.1, uh, so there there has been a lot of changes and not just my UI but Android in general since way back then so you know that that could be the culprit but I just really feel like my UI is what makes Android so great I mean 
the fact that you can change whatever you want that that's how Android is Android allows you to be able to change your device to the way that you love it the way you like it the way you want it the way that's most useful for you and my UI is another an, an interpretation of what they felt would be a little bit better and maybe a little bit more fluid a little bit more uh, comfortable user experience I'm pulling that right from the my UI uh, website and I think it, it really stands out uh, this this you you can definitely tell the difference between any other ROM and a my my UI ROM no matter what version it is and the theme selection and the icon selection and sounds and this thing you guys really you'll have to try it out it, it, to understand what I'm talking about but there is so many customizable options in my UI you there is like I said before you can get a little overwhelmed by it and I don't want to sound like you know I'm just uh, in replay mode but that's what you're gonna come away from it, it it's really nice it's really lovely uh, if you don't like the way it looks when you first flash it uh, there's a 99.9% .9 chance you're gonna like at least one of the m many things uh, and customizable settings that you'll be able to uh, download from either the my themes app or the uh, Play Store where you can find lots of different themes uh, for my UI in the uh, Google Play Store okay so there'll be links below where you can download this ROM from XDA and uh, make sure you support your developers uh, donate um, click the thanks button on the thread make sure you uh, help the community out if you have a problem you, uh, first search through the threads before you uh, place your, your question uh, to make sure it's not it hasn't already been answered but uh, if you find something out you know that maybe you think will help someone else go ahead and uh, put a reply in the thread so that you can help the next person out pay it for it uh, but this pretty much wraps up uh, my overview of the my UI uh, ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S3 Sprint edition uh, you guys make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like any of the videos uh, uh, make sure that you tell a friend if you think that it may help them out or they might like the channel um, I really do appreciate you guys I'm gonna be giving away a $25 Google Place store card uh, that video should be up today or tomorrow uh, with the uh, details on how you can win that um, so be looking for uh, that video really soon uh, like I said today or tomorrow and uh, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in I really do uh, love my community you guys uh, you guys really leave some nice comments and uh, you guys I know some of you are learning things from the videos on how to root or how to uh, you know kind of hack your Android device but I learned a lot of things from you guys also so I just want to say thank you uh, and I really do appreciate you know you guys support the nice words and uh, the kind words that you guys uh, give me sometimes you know some some of you guys can get a little a little crazy on the comments but that's cool too I guess but uh, this has been Damien with Hosh Online and we've been doing our overview of the my UI uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S3 Sprint Edition I will see you guys next video peace